Hello friends. Today I am going to discuss the difference between step index and graded index fibers. Now before discussing the step index and graded index fiber, let us discuss what is the meaning of the mode of the fiber. Now what is the meaning of the mode of the fiber that mode is the mode is the path followed by light in a fiber it is known as the mode of the fiber now this is step index fiber i will discuss in detail this is uh, graded index fiber and this is a uh, uh, single mode fiber we will discuss in in detail in further now what is the mode of the fibers as I have already discussed about the core of the fiber. Now, for example, this is the core of the fiber. And this is the path followed by the light ray. And second beam will also move from this path. If third beam also moves from this path, if all the beams, if all the light rays move only through a single path, then that is known as the single mode fiber that is known as single mode fiber because it is the single path followed by the light ray and this is known as mono mode or single mode fiber now for example if this is the path followed by the light ray while traveling through the core of the fiber after total internal reflection and if this is the second path followed by the light ray now here we have more than one path then that is known as multi-mode fiber that is known as multi-mode fiber so on the basis of this the fiber is divided into two types the fiber is divided into two types one is monomode fiber another one is single mode fiber and and the fiber is also divided into two types step index fiber and graded index fiber now here you can see that for the step index fiber the diameter of the core is approximately 200 micrometer and for the graded index fiber it is almost 100 micrometer and and for the single mode fiber it varies from 10 micrometer to almost uh, 40 50 micrometer for the single mode fiber and step index fiber is basically of two types that is mono mode fiber and multi mode fiber but graded index fiber is only of one type that is multi mode fiber so on the basis of this the fiber is divided into two types step index fiber and the graded index fiber the step index fiber and the graded index fiber now let us discuss the difference between the two first step index fiber it is of two types that is mono mode fiber and multi mode fiber but graded index fiber is of is only of one type that is multi-mode fiber the refractive index of the core of the step index fiber is constant throughout the core the refractive index of the core of the step index fiber is constant throughout the core but the refractive index of the core of the graded index fiber is maximum at the center of the core and then it decreases towards core cladding interface now let us discuss it further now for example this is the core of the fiber now what I have told you that refractive index of the core of the step index fiber is constant throughout the core now this this is core of the fiber this is core of the fiber and for example refractive index of the core is 1.5 is 1.5 now it will be constant throughout throughout the core throughout the core it will be 1.5 throughout the core of the fiber but in the graded index fiber 
it is maximum at the center now this is the center of the core of the graded index fiber now for example here the refractive index is 1.5 but then it decreases towards core clad interface now this is outside medium that is clad now this is n2 and this is n2 and here it is 1.5 but after that it will start decreasing towards core clad interface it will be 1.4 example 49 then 48 then 47 then 1.46 similarly from this side also but it will always be more than the refractive index of the clad this is the meaning of that it will start decreasing towards core clad interface now for the step index fiber number of modes how many modes can travel through the step index fiber is equals to v square by 2 where v is cutoff frequency or normalized frequency or v number that i have discussed in my last lecture but in the case of graded index fiber it is v square by 4 it is v square by 4 now v number i have discussed last time that for the mono mode fiber v number is lesser than 2.405 and for the grid index fiber v number is greater than 2.405 now as step index fiber is of both the types that is mono mode as well as multi mode so v number can be lesser than 2.405 or it can be more than 2.405 in the case of step index fiber but grid index fiber is only of uh, is of multi mode type therefore the v number is always more than 2.405 for graded index fiber now my dear friends why the name step index fiber why the name graded index fiber that we can discuss another difference with the help of index profile with the help of index profile now let us draw a graph between refractive index and the distance traveled by light refractive index and the distance traveled by light now this is the core of the fiber i have i am trying to make this diagram here now this is the core of the fiber this is clad now this is n1 refractive index here it is n2 here it is n2 and this is outside medium suppose the refractive index is n naught now if the light is incident from outside medium now this is light is traveling light is traveling from outside medium now here here the refractive index will change from n0 to n2 now at this distance refractive index will change from n0 to n2 so there is sudden increase in the refractive index then again then then again the light will travel towards the core the light will travel towards the core now here again there is change in effective index from n2 to n1 there is increase in effective index from n2 to n1 so again light will travel within the core light will travel within the core again there will be a change in effective index now in this case it is from n1 to n2 so there is a decrease in the refractive index again the light will travel from n2 from n2 to outside medium so again there will be change in effective index from n2 to n0 then the outside medium so this is the index profile now you can here compare this this diagram with this diagram this is the index profile so index profile is n1 r equals to n10 under root of 1 minus 2 delta r by a alpha n1 is the refractive index of core and n10 refractive index of core at the origin delta is our change in refractive index and uh, alpha is known as index profile parameter r is radius a is the diameter alpha is index profile if it is one 
then there is then there is triangular profile and if it is two then there is parabolic profile for the for the grid index fiber because for the grid index fiber there is there is change there is change in the refractive index within the core of the fiber now if alpha will be two then index profile will be parabolic and if alpha will be one then it will be like this triangle because uh, suppose the refractive index is at the center is 1.5 then 1.49 then 1.4 at so there is uniform decrease so if you plot the graph of uniform decrease then there will be a triangular now why it is known as step index fiber because at every step here you can see that at every step this is the first step this is the second step this is the third step this is the fourth step here you can see that there is step discontinuity in the refractive index now what is the name step index so there is step index index means refractive index so there is step at every step there is discontinuity in the refractive index of the fiber that's why it is known as step index fiber now why the name is graded index fiber now grade means change now grade literally means change because at the center of the core at the center of the core the refractive index is not constant so there is change in the refractive index that's why it is known as graded index fiber so my dear friends i hope you have understood the difference between step index fiber and grid index fiber for further reference please search our website winnerscience.com please subscribe like and share our channel thank you thanks a lot